Welcome to MJ Sailing. We're Matt and Jessica, a couple that left Michigan for the nomadic lifestyle seven years ago. Recently, we refitted an aluminum boat to sail to the Arctic and explore some of the more remote areas of the planet. Thanks for joining the adventure. Pretty much the only thing we can make out with this quarter mile visibility we're getting right now as we go through all these narrow channels. The land is supposed to be right there. Right Cannot there see it. Is, uh, less than a half a mile away. We can't see it at all. Not at all. You're showing strongly on radar though. So at least we know that that is correct. Yes. Uh, and nothing else is showing. Not on AIS, like, because right in front of us out of nowhere. Uh, fishing boats. And it looks like it would be a beautiful sight out here. <laughs> if it were clear, you can tell there's like a big kind of cliff right there. But we can't see it. Well, we can hardly see it. But that's okay, because there's some magnificent views waiting for us once we get to the west coast. Hopefully they're not fogged in too. <laughs> Let's hope. I think we're supposed to get a few days of good weather once we arrive, so. straight outside starting to get a little chilly but there is a beautiful sunset happening and I can actually see the northern coast of mainland Scotland I think we're 23 miles off right now but we do want to make sure that we stay a distance off we've heard the point there can get nasty so we want to stay at least five to ten miles off um, so far things are looking okay as we go into the evening Here it comes again. Is it behind me? You think it would learn by now? Yeah, you think so. That it can't stay there. I wonder why it doesn't try the solar panel if it knows that uh, the wind gen wants to stay far away from it. I don't know. It makes me nervous. Oh, that wind gen now? Yeah. For it and for us. Yeah. Oh. Um. Gonna 
intro. shift right now. It is 2 a.m. and right now we are about seven miles off the northwest point of mainland Scotland. After this, Matt's going to be, well, in a few more miles. Starting our course down towards the Hebrides and we just pick up or something. Oh. Anyway, um, because our distance was shorter, uh, 80 some miles for the sail, we had wanted to slow ourselves down. Otherwise, we would have gotten to the entrance to our anchorage at like 3 or 5 in the morning. So both Matt and I have been trying to do like a combination of stay sill or reduced head sill to try and keep an average of around 4 knots. Um, pretty successful until about right now because all of a sudden we're getting some gusts. But either way, I am ready to crawl into better Georgie and then I'll be back out for the 5 to 8 a.m. sunrise shift. The last leg of our journey, we knew we'd be headed directly into the wind and waves, but we also figured we'd be close enough to the coast to be protected by it. We were wrong. Beating directly into the seas, our pace was glacial, and the last five miles felt like they'd last an eternity. Each time I think we were finally getting in the lee, the beating would begin again. After a good strong effort from Elements, we had finally come far enough in that the seas flattened out and we could enjoy our view without a dousing of seawater in the face. Western Scotland was in front of us once more and we were thrilled to see her mountainous face. Coming into the entrance, we saw a whale swimming beside us, which of course did not want to surface again once the camera was out but we still had plenty of beauty to stare at. After a long nap to recover from our overnight passage, we took a look at our surroundings again and were greeted with a fiery red hillside and a local marine mammal that came to get a closer look at us. Ah, oh, I just went underwater. Georgie, we found you a new friend. Oh. <laughs> you should be really excited to meet it. I can see the water like disturbance. Mm -hmm. I hope it pops up again, like right here. It seemed so startled to hear us talk to it. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, Seal, what? What? Come here. Say hi to us. We're nice. <laughs> you can listen to Tay Tay. <laughs> <laughs> Found that offensive. Yeah. The next morning, our sun had disappeared under thick clouds, but before moving on to another anchorage, we did want to take a trip ashore to inspect the landscape. Venturing in along the road which intersected our lock, we were met with rolling yet rocky hills, ambitious winds, and a wild stag out for an afternoon stroll. I said to be leaving this place. As always, we didn't get to enjoy it as much as uh, we would like to. Only went ashore a little bit. Um, 
it'd be nice to be able to immerse yourself in one little anchorage and get to know everything. But uh, then you become a local, and uh, we can't do that. We just got people free. So it's on to the next place, um, which looks to be a very, very cute village. Um, we'll be anchoring about a mile and a half off of it. So we should be in seclusion and a nice quiet area. But there is a little village there, which will allow us to reprovision. And uh, yeah, it should be a nice, nice stop for us. Right now, it's basically just looking out for crab pots and fish farms. The fish farms are everywhere, so you just gotta keep an eye out. If you hit one, it's your own animal. It's so fun watching the waves crash against this thing. It's just like this sheer cliff of probably, I don't know, 150 feet. What would you say, Matt? I would think probably higher than that. Maybe higher, like 200 feet. And these seas, like it's a calm day out right now. Unfortunately, we only have like two knots of apparent one, which is why you still hear the engine. Um, but these like seas, like these low seas will still come up and crash like 30 feet in the air, the spray will go. So it is unfortunate that we're passing it in the rain. Another Scottish day, but it's still just absolutely breathtaking. to anchor for a night or two in Loch Inver and it's been a pretty uneventful trip which is I guess pretty good. It seems like we're getting into the part of the season where the weather is kind of all or nothing so either you're going to be getting 30 knots or you're going to be getting two knots. And after the beating we took getting into our last anchorage I will gladly take just a couple hours of motoring down the coast. Been lots of seabirds to watch so that was fun and the sun is out and it feels so so nice on my face especially because there is no wind to chill me right now even though i do still have my follies on and i think i just put some dolphins behind me so freaking perfect timing mm, things coming right up to us whoa wow. oh, oh wow. they want to put on a show hey guys I haven't seen you in a while. No, not bottlenose dolphins. This is a perfect greeting. Oh, I know. Oh, there goes one. Man, they like really jump. They're a jumper. They are jumpers. Oh, and there they go. Yeah. It seems so weird that we haven't seen dolphins in a while. No. Oh, no, there's a wonderful feeding. You did not hear me calling you. Oh, damn it out back there. I guess so. I guess yeah. that's what happens when you have music going. You don't uh -huh. hear the call for dolphins. Well, that was a pleasant and unexpected surprise. So, dolphins usually a good omen. Hopefully that means this anchorage is going to be fantastic. Saw a few photos from a friend. It looks so quaint. So, hopefully the weather is nice tomorrow and we can get out and see a little more. My dolphin friends are gone. It didn't last long.
Leaving our secluded little anchorage, we brought the dinghy into the local marina to take a look around the town of Inverlach. A quaint place with a few restaurants and pubs. But the real draw for us was the hiking trail which led inland along one of its rivers. That doesn't look dangerous at all. Is it strange that all that bubbling and frothing reminds me of the frosty top of a beer? <laughs> Can tell where my mind's at. Oh wow. know what to expect with this trail just that it would be following a stream and we thought that there would be some like cute hillside views but it is not disappointed at all every bend we go around it's just these like unbelievable sights so we're quite happy that we made it ashore today to see this even if the sun's not out <laughs> what are your thoughts on the trail incredible oh so glad we got off the boat today and this trail is amazing absolutely amazing but just even the landscape uh, around the water beautiful moss color covered and undulating and all yeah we really lucked out with this we absolutely lucked out on this stop oh all right let's keep going yep when time's been bad Smiles on everyone. I think of you and of all I should have done. We only had our one day to go ashore here in Inverloch, but luckily it turned out to be a pretty nice afternoon. Of course, it always happens that the sun doesn't come out until like an hour before sunset, uh, which would have been a little bit late, kind of cutting it close. Since we only had the one day here, I think that we used it wisely. And then tomorrow we are off to the Outer Hebrides. So that will be a new experience for us too. And we're really looking forward to it. But so far our trip across the top of Scotland and coming down it has been pretty magical. Lots of solitude. We're pretty much the only cruising boat around right now. Uh, so it'll be interesting to get to the town of, uh, I think it's called Stoneaway, in the Isle of Lewis or Harris, and uh, start working our way south. There comes a time when all you have is who you love. Japan. 